So welcome back. I get my uh, laptop back. I still don't really think they fixed it. They just cleaned the cooling device, which I could have done myself. But whatever. Let's continue this. I'll record like two parts or something and upload them today and tomorrow. And we'll see. Um. Yeah, that's already owned by me, so that should be the last town up here. And that's for next turn. Um, what do I want to build here? That was the town we conquered last time in the battle. And your recruit training is going to be queued up. Um, what do I want to build? Let's see real quick. Yeah, probably a shrine first, because we want to recruit units, and without the conversion we won't be able to anyways. So that's first. Uh, let's see, can I build anywhere anything? And uh, not really, so we'll just end the turn. Ah, I was merging another army to go east. I remember that. Oh, what is this settlement? Ah, I remember that's... Oh, they want to fight me. They want to do it? Well, let's do it. They want to do it. So here we are back on the loading screen. Oh cool, that's actually quite snowy. Um, what are we going to do? The good old orcish charge right into this valley, I guess. Not really up for any fancy tactics right now. Skirmish formation. That should work. I get some axe throwers again, some warriors, and some more axe throwers. So that should be an easy victory. Open fire! Point blank shots, that's gonna be good. Are they gonna get rid of the missiles? Hopefully not. Well, they did, but... Ah, uh, some casualties, I guess. So they're fighting at a massive downhill advantage here, I think. And these guys are going to break, break soon. These aren't melee troops, so... I want to try something different here. With these guys up here. So I don't want to shoot my own guys in the back. Victory is a distinct possibility, why? Well, the uphill advantage isn't um, as massive as I thought, but... These guys are gonna be... just die, so we can reinforce here. These axe throwers definitely are no melee troops. Yeah, it's gonna be a victory. I think. Hmm. Probably. Why are these guys not moving? Well, just fire. Whatever. Yeah, I remember, we were about to kill Gimli, who is in the town, I think. 
and he deserves to die because his father, I think, killed our king. How can the balance of the forces be evenly matched? You're heavily outnumbered, they're outqualified. Hmm, that's weird. Charge a bit for the in defeat is a dissing possibility. Why? These guys can't win that. Yeah, good. Wait. Well, I probably have to send reinforcements over here, because I don't think these people will be able to take the town on by themselves. the infantry apart first. Yeah, they're broken. I really want to get some calf to hammer and anvil people out of the fight. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I really don't feel the very hard in this campaign difficulty. I would have expected it to be much harder. Like the AI not ha having one stack at least for ev one, every of this town these towns. I'm sorry if you hear that sound. That was mm, the program. I should probably shut that down, but whatever. It's not gonna bother that much. <sighs> They're just gonna keep running away. It's annoying. Come on. Really? I guess they're tired, so they're not gonna catch them. That is inconvenient. Oh, shoot. Fuck this. Well, these guys are gonna die. I will really need these guys up there, because... These are the effective against armored trade people. Only half our force remains. Well, they got slaughtered pretty bad, I think. Shaken. Well, I think these guys are gonna die. Long and are becoming tired. That is inconvenient. Wavering, please don't route. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Who? Well, that wasn't such a good victory. Could have been better, considering their troop types and my troop types. 
I really need to get more cav down there. Well, for us in this cav, it works, but. Uh. Uh. Execute. Death to you. Hmm, confident defender, that's a good trait. Oh wow. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna take him. Oh, he's actually a better general. So we are gonna take him. You get back. Um... I should have some troops down here. Relations improved. Yeah, I have the units ready here. I don't really need to hire these guys. Those I don't also also don't need. Ah, uh, these guys we're getting back to get retrained for this the army I have standing down there. So, um, construction report. We get the shrine. Does this further increase? Huh. So we probably want an armora or cages, mining network, delicious house, temple. Uh, I'm gonna go with the breeder. I think this doesn't matter. So we should be good. We're making a lot of money. Still got three units in there. Well, I'm just gonna siege it then. Um, this can't construct anything. I can't recruit anybody here. Ah, uh, yeah, I need to get the culture up. Right. Wait, how much do I need? 25%. That's not really much. Uh, yeah, should be it for this turn. We'll see. I'm just gonna guess that they're gonna sail out of their town. Since it's loading so long. Oh, actually they didn't. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Well, I have the reinforcements down there, but I wanted to build the army. Hmm. We'll see. Maybe it's not that big of a stack. Hopefully it isn't. I don't want to fight a huge army. New mission. Reinforce region. Then we all... What do I get for that? 100 gold coins doesn't reward really worth it. I'll wrap off your head and spit on your neck. Hmm, that's wow, that's a really good unit they have there. And I don't really have a lot of troops in there. Which isn't good. So you guys move in there and get yourself retrained. Oh I can't. Shoot! Well, I'm gonna get, I think, enough in one turn. So the full units, like these guys, these guys, and these guys, should get out there. We have to fight a war. We'll have to, I'm gonna lose the town probably and then just retake it. Then we're gonna go and deal. Oh, I can't. Hmm. These are probably the heavily depleted guys. Well, the general's bodyguard still is a tough unit to crack. We can build something here. 
Oh, but I don't have the money. So we just end turn, let the dwarves take our settlement. Well, I could try and defend it, but their stack is way too big for me to do so. Yeah, they're gonna attack, and I'm gonna lose this town. Yeah. Why? How do they get so much experience on the units? But some of these are heavily depleted, so I'm just gonna guess there's also fighting war against Rune, probably. That's usually the most likely. So they're having 10 units depleted. I'm just gonna auto resolve that. Isn't worth it, I think. Still with dwarves. Well, they're not going to get any further, that's for sure. The inconvenient thing is though, they're going to destroy a bunch of buildings. <laughs> the elves got defeated by some random bandits. If you look at the map, look at what we got actually. We have quite the empire right now. You get all this, and in the beginning we started out with like three provinces, I think. Oh, we can get the camp guard. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that army there. Although it's costing me a lot of upkeep and doing anything there. And why did I do that? That is like useless. Get ready for fighting. Get ready for fighting. So I'm gonna move these guys up. And unite them. So they'll be able to fight the dwarves back, I think. I still can't. But I recruit a unit of... Uh... Halberdiers. Why? That makes no sense. How can these guys be better? Huh. Well, ah, these guys... These guys also have the effect against armor trade, so these guys are all good as well. I'm just gonna send this unit this way as well. And it's time to fight these guys back. We're not gonna let the dwarves get any further. Um. Yeah, well. Why are these guys so unhappy? Let's see. Unrest. Distance to capitals. Waller. Unrest is gonna go down though, so we're gonna be good here soonish. Just gonna send some reinforcements up there, so that we can take this town rather quick. They're probably gonna show up on the next turn, in the next town. Annoying. Now that I thought they were pretty much dealt with, they get even more annoying. <laughs> they took Mount Gundabad, which... Yeah, well, it's not my capital, my capital is Khandoom in this game. But yeah, it's pretty much capital-ish, I guess. I'm still getting any money. Agent detected. Fuck you off, high elves. He'd have... <laughs> that's sweet, 147 men. Well, we basically just have to fight the general's armored bodyguard. The unit information. But holy... F. These guys have 21... Melee defense. Yeah, I could just shoot them out, but... Gumli's battle axe. <laughs> Minus one to hit points. That's not even a good trade. Biography. Gimli is a son of... That's interesting. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna wait for the reinforcements to be there. 
And can I retrain this unit finally? Yeah, I can. Uh, construction will be completed in the next turn. And I really have to take back Gundabad because that just took my income down by 800 or close to 1000. Is that a diplomat or a spy? It's definitely not an army because it doesn't have a flag. But these guys should really stop bothering me. It's annoying. I'm really scared of an attack. Because if I get attacked now by dwarves and someone else, like high elves, probably it'd be the one of the worst. Well, Arido also be inconvenient. Then I'd get pretty much screwed over. Let's see, how much does the number decrease every turn? Uh, only three men. So sieging doesn't really have a great effect on these guys. Oh, well, whatever, I'm just gonna merge these guys. And I'm gonna disband these guys. There are some nice cav and they did a good job in taking this town, but they have ten men and... Oh, I forgot, in this game, the upkeep also does scale with the amount of y people you have in a unit, so I will not disband them. I forgot, in Empire and such, you pay full upkeep for a unit, even if it's depleted to like 10 men. And here you don't, which is a good, f a good thing, I guess. Oh, we just killed your stupid spy. Annoying people. Oh, that's a diplomat. So that's cool. They might want to trade, which would increase our income. Uh, sure. I'm gonna take your map information. We cannot thank you enough for and why is Grima diplomat of the High Elves? <laughs> Isn't he like the dude from Isengard? <laughs> That's weird. An honor and a pleasure. Farewell. Oh wow, so they got some a decent realm, I guess. But that they are there means that Eriador is a lot smaller than what I thought it'd be. I'm not gonna take it on the general. Agent detected, wars, dwarves. And our income should go up now. Well, not really. <laughs> That's inconvenient. Uh, we got these guys retrained. And I don't think he can get out. No, he can't. Probably. Well, I'm just gonna further decrease my income and move these two units out there. It's not the best to do, but... Oh, this town is close to growing. Well, it's not real close, but... It's getting there. Uh, which one? There was one that was decently close. Maybe this one? Not sure. Two weeks is quite some time. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, the reinforcements should arrive. Yep, they are. I want to slay him personally, so I'm going to fight this battle. Although I wouldn't have to. I could just auto-resolve it and probably win. But I want to see that guy fall in battle. So we'll start deploying. Where are these guys up front? I have some bowmen. 
But they get the bigger city walls, so their walls will do damage to our troops. Just gonna keep these guys in reserve. This was a general. Do they have any units close to the walls? Doesn't seem like it. Oh yeah, they have some guys up the walls. It's only 14 men though. Well, let's see if we can hit someone. That'd be kind of cool. I don't really think so. I'm just gonna move up. It's really cool the feature they added that... Why is the lag so horrible? Um, that the bad factions have like other rams. Looks more realistic. Well, not real realistic since it's a fantasy like conversion. But it makes more sense, I guess. Shoot them. I think we'll have more of our own guys than them, but we'll see. Come on. Well, that's the unit. Where is it? Should be somewhere. What? Oh, um. <laughs> that's not a good idea. And disable skirmish mode. What? Where is that unit? Am I retarded or something? The map shows there's a unit there, but I can't see anything. I guess we're gonna find out soon enough. <laughs> Oh no, it also lifted the camera restriction, so I'll be able to find these guys. Well, that's a general unit. It's not the right one. Building captured gateway. Oh, there it is. Excellent. Come on. It's kind of tricky deploying units inside of inside of towns. That's what I meant. Um, these guys are gonna get slaughtered. <laughs> I mean, my guys. Not gonna stand a chance against their squad. Where is the guy with the axe? <laughs> he looks kind of funny. He doesn't fit into his squad, and his face is weird. Well, he looks. It's kind of fit. Oh, he has a 200 axe and all these guys. It's kind of accurate. I would say. Oh, now they took out their axes. But my guys are effective against their armor, so this shouldn't be that much of a problem. It actually looks kind of cool. Remember that scene in the movies where um, 
you see the troops marching out of what is this I think Minas Morgul was a lag against Warble you see the units marching out of Minas Morgul and they walk like halberdiers with all their harbors up two men remaining <laughs> and they walk pretty much like that it just reminded me of that <sighs> I would say something, but there's not really anything to say, just wait for them to die. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. <laughs> Every percent of us like three times more men than they are. But these guys are tough. Holy shit. These guys are tough as nails. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Well, I guess some reinforcements up here. Where is Gimli? Where is he? Oh, there's still double time. <laughs> Remember in Realm Total War, I think it is, where if you play as Carthage and tell your units to run, he says, Units! Double time! Huh. I'm sorry I said I would work on a channel design, but since I didn't have my <laughs> own laptop, which was why I didn't record, obviously, I wasn't really keen on installing like Photoshop and stuff on the laptop of someone else, from of my mom and or my sister or something. So I didn't do that either, although I should have. My gosh, these guys still live. I would like to like slowly see Gimli die, but I'm too impatient to watch this. It's cause it take like forever to call these guys down. Well, they're pretty much lost now. Where is the heroic person? Come on, stop someone. He doesn't do very well. <laughs> And he's bloodied, so he definitely took some damage. Oh my gosh, these guys still fight him and he hasn't stopped any org. Well, his entire bodyguard squad is dead. Oh, now he got one. Oh, that's a cool death animation. Where he jumps on him and puts the axe on his throat. And he got another one. And he's gonna die, I think. Yeah, I really shouldn't fight steady battles like that, just rushing my men in. But I don't really care since I can get them retrained and I'm not fighting any wars down there. The high elves even somewhat like me, so... Will he be last man standing? We'll see. Yep, he is. Die. We got like 7 or 8 hit points. So it's gonna take some time to bring him down. And slain. So his family is eradicated. Oh, I already thought the pause button would be the time left. 
So I thought like, my gosh, I will lose this battle and have to retreat. But it was it wasn't the clock. Just charge on, I suppose. See, I saw this symbol and it was empty, so I thought it'd be the time. <laughs> Get scared for a second there. Oh, that's a cool one. Unleash the arrows. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I really lost more than I should have. Could have just outflanked and crushed Gimli from all sides. But I was too lazy. <laughs> Yeah, cunts. And come on, come on. A men are in command of the castle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, and victory! <laughs> the statistic is really not a good one. That's a horrible victory. Well, considering <laughs> the unit stats of the dwarf bodyguard, it's still not that bad, but it's still pretty bad. Well, at least we get rid of the dwarves. And this is also... Dwarven armor. Oh, wow! That is a great thing. So, once we get his command rating up, this guy will really, really be good. Oh, I could just give the armor to someone else. <laughs> Not be cheap though. He's got a good job fighting the dwarves. For Lindon. So this will be it for the, this episode. And I shall see you in the next part where we will retake this city. And we'll crush the dwarves once again. Oh my gosh, I think these guys... Yeah, that's pretty good. A16. So, anyways, this is it for now. We successfully slayed Gimli's family. <laughs> and I shall see you in the next episode.